Oh, baby. Check it out. Alter. Oh. <laughs> Let's put this here because this is good. Oh. Oh, look at it. It's, it's building. Bam. Whoa. Did you see that? But so the altar is 2001 and now it's 6003. Awesome. Person watching this video i like you what's up guys how you doing i'm clobber stomp and we're on the feed the beast and Finders server today as always rocking out on rightcraft you guys are awesome so i don't know if you guys saw my stream the other day but we started working with look at this spanish moss we've been checking out witchery you got a little hint of it a little while ago a few episodes ago whatnot but we started learning a little bit more so I want to take you through kind of a little bit about what we've been doing. So I found these seeds. Um, you can find all the seeds by just like punching, punching the grass. You know, you've probably already found them if you've been playing or following along. Um, let's see if we can get one here. Um, there we go. Wolfsbane seed. There we go. So you can get a bunch of them. There's five of them to obtain. You get mandrake seeds, wolfbane seeds, belladonna seeds snow bell seeds and water artichokes cool thing about water artichoke seeds is they're planted right on the water block so you need a source block and you, you can plant those too so um, let's get rid of all this stuff here I was working with some other stuff before but if you wait for these to you know mature you get different seed you get more seeds they yield pretty well and then not only that is you also get some different different items with them so um, you get icy needles and snow from the snowbell seeds you get water artichoke globes from the water artichoke seeds you get what do we get from the belladonna's you get the belladonna flower let's put these away so we got a little bit more room I'm running out of room there we go and watch this Oh, I got them right away, but if you hit it with your fist, oh, it didn't work that time. Usually a mandrake runs out, and he squeals and freaks out at you, and it's super uncool. Maybe we can get one of these to mature by the end of the episode. You guys can see that. It's scary as hell. It freaked the hell out of me. But, so we've been using all of those, and you, we have to get all these because you have to make Mundantis. Mutandus, sorry. Mutandis. Where is it here? Um, Wormwood. No. I'm not seeing it. Where is it? Okay, we're, we'll just do it this way. Uses. So, um, there we go. You make Mutandis like this. So, you can take your Witch's Cauldron. You can, once you make that, you can, um, you have to make this paste. Yeah, this is it. This annotate paste. You can make this paste with all four of the seeds. You can right click on a regular cauldron with it and boom, it turns it into a witch's cauldron. Easy day. So you can fill it up with water. It's a little bit um, tedious. You know, you got to put three buckets of water in it. It needs to be heated with a heat source. All of that. But I don't know if there's a way to automate that. If you guys know, let me know. And uh, maybe we can put something like a... Um, aqueous accumulator and have it just kind of shoot water into it and keep it thin like that i don't know um but the reason you make the mundantis mutandis i'm going to say that wrong every time um is you need to make mandrake root uh exhale of the horned one and eggs now to make those you need to get these trees so you can make this stuff with burning um what is it? What do I have around me? A spruce spruce wood. So you can burn spruce saplings. And you get... I don't remember the which order they come in. Uh, spruce will do... Oh, let's read the book. The book will tell us. I honestly forget. 
No, the book won't tell us. Will it? Um, where is it here? I didn't use this that well. I just looked it up. Okay, so that didn't work the way I was thinking. I'm sorry. Um, so you can make these potions. And, or, you know, I guess they're, yeah, they're potions. So you can make clay jars by making a clay jar in a form like that. And you can smelt it and you get a clay jar. And then you can do all these different types of things. Um, but you can make three different types. I don't remember which ones do which, but if you do a birch sapling, you will get one. If you do a different sapling, the spruce sapling, you will get another. And you will get two different types. And I don't have any in here. So let's actually figure out which ones we get. So there's oak. We've got... Oh, here we go. You can make Hint of the Rebirth and Exhale of the Horned One. Pretty cool stuff. Do we have any spruce in here? No? There's one over here. Let's take that. You guys can see. Now, it doesn't do it one-to-one. -one, so you have to be aware... Um, you may not, if you burn one sapling, you might not get it. So it doesn't yield perfectly. Just remember that. Uh, so maybe we'll get lucky and it'll work. But I don't think it will. I don't think I have enough right now. That's why I put the little tree farms here. These other trees, I'll tell you about in a minute. Come on. Nope, it didn't make it. Maybe we'll get some. Then we'll know which ones do which. Let's see. Show me. Work. Do it now become a thing yes so there we go apparently oaks make exhale of the horned one great so what you can do with that is exhale of the horned one you can take your mandrake and you can also take your egg oh come on oh it looks like mr soises needs to sleep let's go sleep for him so he can get light he's got an outdoor base so it's a little tough for him, and I just gave him a few spawners, so he's probably freaking out a little bit. There we go. Perfect. Nice little sidestep there. So what you can do with those three items is you can take your potion first, put it in there. It turns the different color. Like, uh, look at all the sparkles. It means that your witch is brewing stuff. Put that in there. And it'll sparkle along, go shoo, 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 shoo. It'll be shooting up, shooting up in the air, and then bam! Do it! Give me the thing! Here it comes! Oh, baby! And it gave me, I think, four or six. I can't remember. But it gives you a few of these called Mutandus. And what you can do with these is find a flower or a sapling, a standard one. Nope, that one won't work. We need a regular one. Are we going to get lucky? Um, why don't we just fly? Where are we looking here? Come on. Here we go. I think these work. Nope. Where be you? Oh, there we go. So, it'll make glint weed. Uh, you can make the acacias. You make a bunch of different saplings. And... I suggest any, uh, that one didn't work. Darn it. So what you can do is you can use that on saplings, like an oak sapling. Yeah, let's take an oak sapling. I'll show you. Here we go. And we'll take one oak sapling. And we can do this. Boom. And it makes the different trees. So this made a rowing sapling. The three that you need, you need a rowing sapling. You need an alder or a hawthorn sapling and an alder sapling. Reason being is you can make a bunch of different things with these. Now, the first thing you want to do is start making some of these other potions. They really help out with a lot of the, the things that we're working on. But we want to make today, where is it? We want to make an altar. And I think I've got everything we need for it. So... I've made these, I've made these, and I've got my rowan wood, so excellent. Let's get our rowan wood. We need two. We've got stone bricks. One, two, three, four. 
we need an exhale and was it breath of the goddess i think that's what it was right or did i look at that incorrectly yep perfect and then a water bottle which we have perfect put that all in our crafting station let's see will it actually do the shift clicky let's see i am nope didn't do it. Bummer. All right. So this guy here, here, and here. Bam. Alter. Let's see if we can get this to work. So, oh, I made a coffin. Look at this. Isn't that the coolest thing? You can open it up and sleep in it too. I don't know why I ran in there to sleep. I should have slept in my coffin. That would have been cool. <laughs> oh, wasted an egg. Shoot. Okay. So we want to... Is it like that? Hmm. What I don't know... Is it like that? I don't know how many... Does it require four? I'm not exactly sure how to make that. I've never made it before, so I'm not 100% sure. We're going to have to come back to that. You know what? I'm going to check this out. A rolling wood door... That's super cool. Let's see if we can make that. I know this is a little bit of a sidetrack, but I got to check it out. Just because I think that's going to be a cool looking door. Let's see. Oh, man. It's got like a big, big hole in it. Let's put it right here. No. Oh. There we go. Now we can come out this side. That's cool. Look at that. That's a sweet door. I like that. That's neat. Okay, so... um, Whoa, what was that? A rolling door key? Can we lock it? Hmm. I don't know what that does. We're going to figure that out. That's cool. Oh, it's a key to the door. I bet no... I wonder if anybody can open it. Hmm, I'll have to test that out. See if anybody can get into that. That's kind of cool. Is that where I, is that my location? I can't tell. Oh well. Anyways, uh, there's another thing we want to make too. Is let's see if we can make this other thing. Um, what the heck was it? Oh, we're gonna make a poppet. This one, because we want to make this guy. Oh, shoot. Reason being is hunger protection. This gets you from hunger, so you don't have to do that anymore. So I'm going to go get some rotten flesh, and I'm going to figure out how to make this altar thing, and I will be right back. Look at that thing. It's moving. Look at, look at, oh, he's got a face. Oh, he got pissed. Look at his, his look at his ang angry eyes. Yeah, you're going to see it now. Ha <laughs> ha. We're going to take a screenshot of that. Yep. He's not moving though. He's not coming after. Him. Maybe he's stuck. Oh, he's stuck. Oh. He's mad. Of course he's mad. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's so cool. Goodbye. Peace out, tree. You got 200 hit points. That thing's a beast. <laughs> and we're back. Pew, pew. So I got what we need for the poppet. I think we got everything we need. So we can go bam, bam. You know what? Let's check this altar out. Apparently, we're just supposed to put them three in a row. And it's supposed to work. But it doesn't work. I don't know why. It's supposed to put a red cloth on the top and make me an altar. But it didn't. So I'm not sure why that is. Do you guys know why? Is that supposed to work like that? Do I have to chunk it with something? Is there a special 
special witch's wand. Is there a wand? Witch's wand. Ent twig. I can't even make that. Hmm. Interesting. So there's a bunch of things that we can make. Well, I'm going to have to figure this one out. We're going to have to get back to this one. I don't know what the deal is. Hmm. Maybe i got to put a skull on it. If I put a skull on it, will it work? Let's go get a skull. See if that works. Because there's different things you can upgrade it with uh, to make it more powerful and stuff like that. But I was under the impression it would just work if you put them next to one another. But maybe that's not the case. So let's take, well, let's take a wither skull. I bet that's different skulls do different things. I don't know all of them yet. I still got to learn that. But if we put this on there, is it going to work? No. Hmm. I don't know. That's weird. If you guys know how to do that, let me know. Because I I clearly don't. And from what I read online, it just says you got to put them next to one another. Bam. It should work. So, not sure. Well, the other thing I know should work just fine. And that's the poppet. So, let's click on them. And we want to make this one. So, the first thing we need to make is wool, string, and a bone needle. How do you make a bone needle? Okay, a bone and flint. Do we have a bone? We've got some flint. Bam. And I don't see any bones in there. I know where there's some bones. Let's go get them. There should be a bunch over here. Why am I running? Boom. Let's take a bunch of those. Perfect. All right, so we should be able to make this now. Oh, and this guy's ready to go. Let's go like that. There we go. Bone needles. I have to get rid of that. We need wool, Spanish moss, and string. Did I bring string? No. And I don't have any iron down here. Oh, there's the iron. No, nope. there we go. I needed shears. Perfect. Perfect. Cool thing is, is this stuff spreads sideways and it works like across, like on both of them, where the vines don't do that, which is cool. I like that. Let's get some wool. There's some wool over here. Here we go. I wasn't as prepared as I thought I was going to be, but that's okay. We have enough stuff that's close enough. And then I think we can make string with like this. No? Shoot. Well, you know who has some cotton? This guy. Nope. Wrong. Dag nabbit. I thought maybe we had some in here. There's some cotton. I think we can make string with that, right? Nope. How do we make string? I thought we could. Three across the top. That's what it is. That was close. It's tough to remember all these things. There's so many. Here we go. And what? There it is. One, two, three. Boom, boom. Spanish moss. And one of each of these. Great. Then we need to make glistening melons. So let's get some melons here. Let's do this. 
Whoa. Leg spike. Come on. Perfect. Alrighty. You guys have made glistening melons before. Boom. And I think we've got gold in here. Let's get a couple. Make these into nuggets. And then... There we go. Perfect. Great. Whoa. Nice, buddy. Networking switchboard. Can we click on that? It will. Achievement. Craft a controller. Hmm. I wonder what kind of controller he's making. Xbox One controller? <laughs> he doesn't even know. That's awesome. And melons. Put those back in there. And we've got glistening melons. Great. So now if we go back to the puppets, we can make the hunger one. I think. Whoa, too many. So two on each side, and then those guys. One, two. One, two. And our puppet. What? Why didn't that work? Shaped crafting, right? Rotten flesh. Glistening melon. Puppet not bound. That's all the right stuff. What am I missing? Did I screw it up? Oh, there we go. There was some weirdness going on. So now... I think we got it. Look at that. No, what that does? No more hunger. I can run around. I can fly. I can jump up and down. No more hunger. Sweet. That is fantastic. Well, guys, tell me what I did wrong here. Because I'm, I'm pretty new to witchery, so I don't know a lot. Um, I'm learning as I go. And I figured I'd show you guys that much. Oh, look at here we go. Let's move that. Watch. There he goes. And he's he's mad. Are you going to scream? Oh, yeah. There they go. And they, like, they poison you. Like, you get nausea. So you got to, like, shoot at the, the wall. Or, like, just down to help to get them. They're so hard to hit. There we go. There is a way to get around this. And I'll show you that. Once my nausea wears off, oh, you can get what's called earmuffs, which are super easy to make. You guys can look that up. Take these off. Put these on. Boom. Nothing. They don't gnaw. That you don't get nausea. They don't get anything. And they just run around. You just walk away from them and hit them. They're pretty easy. They're really mad. They they go fast. They're tough to kill. So what I usually do is just, I just aim for the the plant right away. So if you hit it with the sword, the plant with the sword, you're good to go. Just kills it right away. However, the earmuffs take away all sound for everything. So be aware, that might freak you out a little bit. It's a little creepy. I don't like it, so I just kill them and, and we move on with life. But Well, all right, guys. I think that was an awesome, awesome episode. So you guys, as always... Yeah, tell me what I did wrong here. Tell me how to make this better. How, how do I make this into an altar? Leave your comments in the down there. You guys can check out all the new channels that we got going on. I encourage you to check them out. They are super awesome. They're, they're a great bunch. You guys will have fun with them, um, checking out their channels and stuff with all the new peeps. So you guys have an awesome day. Don't forget to check out my Patreon campaign. Like and favorite on your favorite social media, and have an awesome day. Peace!